Don't even say that. Oh my gosh. Somebody always told me I had a face for radio. Ah, I knew, I knew that, was, uh, that was what that was my Instagram this post post this morning. I was like, this face was made for radio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emily, tell us who you are and what you do, because what we haven't done is got you to talk in the mic. We've got you singing in it, but yes. that's because you're talking, you're talking stuff. Tell us who you are and what you do. Is this is the interview no, starting no, right no, now? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> mic check. So my name is Emily Mussolino. I'm a musician, singer, guitarist, producer, bassist, dabble in keyboards. Okay, um, a couple more P words, like producer, Peter Piper, pick the pack. Peter Piper picked up. Well pack. done. You have passed the audition. Yay. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh -huh. Y'all good. Y'all good in there. You let me know when you're ready. Uh, no, I don't see the chat. I'm actually logged in, but I don't see a new chat. go. Let's get this little thing set up. Okay. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready. This is the State of Things. I'm Frank Stacio. Emily Mussolino is a singer-songwriter who is fully invested in creating a collective for female artists. And she's an artist who's had her own share of personal struggles, but her music helps her make sense of it all. She tackles a lot of these issues in her songs, and she joins me today to talk about that and play some of that music. She's joined by two band members as well. Zach Haggard is Zach Zach <laughs> Zach Hargett is on the bass, and Devin Fuller is on the drums. Welcome to all of you. Good to have you here. It's Thanks. great to be back, Frank. How do you like my sideburns? Uh, they're great. <laughs> they're great. That's just, you know, I had those in high school, and then I just went all the whole way. Yeah, I'm bringing them back. It, you're, you're looking sharp. You, uh, it's so, what tells me, because a lot of that, I mean, this whole, a lot of your identity, your gender identity, I mean, these are big things for you, and it plays a big, an important part in your music, right? Right, it's absolutely. I mean, um, growing up gay in North Carolina has definitely be, it's been an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. I realized, um, to this day, I've been out for 12 years, but to this day, when I sing songs that have female pronouns in them, sometimes I get self-conscious yeah. and that's not cool you know? yeah, <laughs> you yeah no, it's, it is interesting to have to think about navigating all that and you would think i mean being in the triangle of somewhat more progressive place uh in north carolina it might be that a little bit easier but oh, it, i mean it is but there's yeah. i mean i don't just play in the triangle we yeah. play all over the place and there's some places that i've been where i'm scared because you know my drummer is black and i'm gay and i'm like i don't know if we're gonna make it out of here you know, <laughs> does it play a part in your, in your creative process? I mean, apart from having to, you know, sort of navigate well, the pronouns. Well, 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 that's the thing is my creative process is directly reflective of my life experience. Yeah. So yeah, of course I'm going to be singing about women because that's who I've been dating. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, would you do a song for us now? Yes. That's great. This is called Burn.
of Emily Mussolino on guitar and vocals, Zach Hargett on the bass, and Devin Fuller on the drums. They're going to be at Four House in Raleigh on April 28th. Great song. Yes, sir. Thank Great you. Song. You have also talked about and sung about uh, your struggles with alcohol, which started for you at a very early age. Yes, uh, I was an alcoholic for a very long time. Uh, I'd lost a good five years of my life to alcohol. And uh, there's really two different Emilys. There's the Emily you're seeing today, and then there's Drunk Emily, and you don't want to meet Drunk Emily. <laughs> you you uh, struggled. Do, do you have any? I mean, what was what was all going on with you? Well, um, my father passed away right yeah. when I went off to college, at uh, 19, mm. and I was actually in college, so I completely did not process that. Mm. And um, I already didn't really have a really healthy relationship with alcohol, but when I turned 21, it kind of just exploded and I was just blackout drunk every day for a month and then I was almost died <laughs> drinking four loco when it still had the stuff in it you know <laughs> and uh I walked out and I said hey you guys to my roommates I said um I think I might have an alcohol problem and they were like uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're way ahead of you well so was that enough for you then then you you sort of took well the... that was the beginning of my yeah. recovery but I still struggled for several years um what actually ended up really sticking for me I did AA for a while, and that kind of didn't work. It felt a little cultish for a young, non-religious lesbian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I still I don't knock AA because it's still very helpful for a lot of people. But what worked for me was taking um, antabuse. Mm. Um, so it's basically a pill that you take it, and it doesn't do anything to you unless you take a drink. And then it makes you very sick and flushed, and it's just not fun. So it kind of just weans you off of it long enough to get some real sober time. Wow. And do you, you feel like you still have to take it or you don't? I do because yeah. every time I have like lapsed off from taking it, I start drinking again. <laughs> so I have no problem with continuing to take it. And again, talking about the creative process, thinking back on that, is that any part of the, the kind of the work you do? Do you, do uh, you Yes. Do you um, if you remember the last time I was in here, I did the Jealous Girl yeah. um, CD release and uh, one of the songs on there, My Life's a Blur, is all about yeah. me being a, an alcoholic. And a lot of a lot of people probably wouldn't know because I was a very good alcoholic. I was very professional, so you probably didn't see me. If you saw me out drinking, it was probably very normal looking because I did a lot of my drinking at home. Yeah. Will you do another song for us now? Yes. Um, this song is called Shatter the Ceiling, and um, we haven't really brought it up yet, but it's about this music collective that I want to start in Durham called Mama May I. It's going to be all female empowerment. And um, this song is, I pretty much wrote it when I uh, went to the Women's March in D.C. And that was, if you remember, it was right after the inauguration. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was a whole lot of uh, mixed feelings happening that weekend. But um, here it goes. Shadow of the Ceiling. <laughs>
Brusolino, who is singing and playing guitar, along with Zach Hargett on the bass and Devin Fuller on the drums. Emily Mussolino Band is going to be at the Poor House in Raleigh on April 28th, and you're going to be uh, somewhere near Winston-Salem tonight. Yes, fact, yeah? it's uh, Muddy Creek Music Hall. It's All a really right. great venue, um, great sound, great people. We're opening for Sarah Potenza that tonight. Very cool. So, uh, Very it's going to cool. be great. Uh, so tell me more about this mission that you're on. Well, I'm on a mission. I um, I literally just came up with this idea two days ago, so that's why I'm it's so good. excited about it. But um, my friend and... Uh, older sister, basically, Misty Mayhem, who oh, yeah. you know, you've oh, had yeah, her on yeah. the show before. Absolutely. We've kind of, everyone's been saying, when are y'all going to start a band together? When are you going to start a band together? And we've kind of just been following our own separate paths and struggling by ourselves. Mm-hmm. We finally had this brave wa- brainwave last, the other night, like, hey, why don't we just do it? Like, really take it seriously. Yeah. I can take care of the organizational side and um, tap into all these resources that we already have. I mean, we've got... You know, I've got this list of goddesses here that I want to, you know, there's Shauna Tucker, my mentor, there's Rebecca Todd, there's Charlie Lowry, there's Sherlet Ammons, there's Erica Libero, who runs Manifest and is in Bangs and Henbrain, there's Sarah Shook, who I'm very inspired by, there's Laura Reed, who actually helped me write a little bit of that Shadow of the Ceiling song, I was like Mm -hmm. stuck on the last line, she helped me out, um, I mean, the list just goes on and on. Pie Face Girls, Katie Basden, Ashley Heath, Jen Palmer. So what does it look like, though? You're talking about a collective. These are people who would, you know, sort of periodically play together. You create. Yes, I mean, it's basically just like a group of women who communicate with one another about everything. If you say, hey, we need a bass player, call up Jen Palmer. We need a drummer, call up Jess Caesar. Or, I mean, if I'm leaving out some names, please just hit me up, uh, (laughs) like on Facebook or whatever. Like, I want to be inclusive with this project. And I'm really passionate about it. I think it's the perfect time. Durham is ready for a project like this. Well, and, and the Triangle in general, and I think maybe even broadly, more broadly, North Carolina, is a place where where there's much more collaboration than you see in other, other places. Certainly the kinds of bands and the mix and match of you know musicians that I see coming in here as members of one band and then another and then solo work. I it agree. It seems a lot more collective and collaborative here than it is. It is, and it's really just like it, this is. It's just starting to really come into its own. I mean, I was born in Durham Regional. I'm local Durhamite, you know, and I saw when there was no Motor Co., when there was no DPAC, when there was none of that, and now we have this huge, like, thriving music scene that's just blowing up. And I want to harness it and make sure that women and people of yeah. color are part of the conversation. <laughs> are the barriers? Do you think? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think. I think. It's not cool to be racist or sexist anymore, but people definitely still are, and it's just more insidious now. Yeah. So it's important to call people out, and I mean, without seeming like an angry lesbian. That's the thing. That's yeah. the thing. The balance I have to strike <laughs> is being a diplomat, and uh, you know, and do my share of listening too, because that's my main problem as a very Virgo personality. I'm very analytical <laughs> and controlling and I think, oh yeah, I got this. I know everything, but like I don't. <laughs> well, I'm going to listen to at least one more song, but before you play us out, I want to thank you very much and say that I've been talking to Emily Mussolino. She's the owner and operator of Blue Moose Studios in Durham. We didn't even mention that. Yes, I have a recording studio. Hit me up if you want to record with me. Zach Hargan is on the bass. Kevin <laughs> Fuller is on the drums. They haven't gotten a word in edgewise, so you see you are. You've controlled this. See, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I told to them that. before the show, I was like, guys, all you got to do is just listen. Listen to me. Then play. For once. <laughs> if you would let me say, just for one moment. You get a pass. You get a pass, no. Frank Station. I know you're part of the patriarchy, but. <laughs> it's my show, isn't it? I, I, I'm the white man who runs this show. And the white man who runs this show is about to tell his audience that you can hear Emily at the poorhouse in Raleigh on April 28th. Uh, there, this just did your little favor, uh, lady. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps getting worse, doesn't it? I'm not leaving you any time to play. All I'm oh gonna say, goodness, I wish you could see my face right now. <laughs> your sideburns are like out to here. They now. are. They're like one of those like just... dinosaurs that has the like, like Jurassic Park. Uh, Emily Mussolino is my guest. You can find out more at website, uh, stateofthings.org. <laughs> but get to the poorhouse in Raleigh, April 28th. And in the meantime, she's going to play us out. All I have to say is that North Carolina Public Radio is a broadcast service of the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. I'm Frank Stacio. Once again, Emily Mussolino. It's great to have you. Thank you.
you're you're playing out. out the show. Oh, you guys are your fade out thing. Yeah. That was good. You're faded out too. <gasps> that was great. Thanks. Thanks for playing our dick. That was funny. Yeah, <laughs> that was really yeah. funny. Yeah. That was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> so you're part of the patriarchy, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. It was all right, little lady. <laughs> I'll tell you how I do. <laughs> Had me cracking up. Nice work. That sounded great. Really nice job. Have fun. Come back again. Come back to you. Well, and yeah. then, you know, as you work the collaborative in and out of here. You yeah. Know, get everybody in here. I think I actually got everything I wanted to say, like, on there today. Good. Oh, good. Wasn't good. sure I was going to. You got some good music. Nice. It was great to Thanks. see you. Nice job. It sounded great. It'll be on Friday. And then uh, we actually got to rebroadcast Friday night, but it'll be on again Saturday morning. And of course, it stays on the web cool. forever or until the webmaster crashes on. So y'all are on the NPR One app, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my dad's going to Taiwan t today. Oh. And he's going to be he's gonna be there for like two weeks. So i got to send him the, uh, the he show. Will hear, he will hear it there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Multinational. Killer. Yeah, it was. Ugh, I felt like my guitar was like not good at all, but I was nervous. Hey, that was great, you guys. Thanks I thought so that went really well. How do you think it went? Thanks. Great. Yeah, it was good. It'll be a good interview. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good. <sighs> now, you can like relax a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Slow down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I can help you guys get back to your cars and unload stuff, too. Okay. Um, I'll be just... If you don't mind, I'm going to go to my desk and work on some stuff. But I'm like, right, if you go out, you'll see me. I'll just be standing. We okay. can just lay it'll, down. It'll, it'll take us maybe 10 minutes to okay. get out of here. Cool. Thank you, guys. That was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> Zach, what is this? Is that Haggard? <laughs> he stumbled over my name for sure. Zach Haggard. I should have told him. It, it always.